I'm going to share with you how to make another wallet that you can hold credit card and your money in coins and things like that. My favorite color today that I'm using. And um, the first thing here I have, this is 4x4 four four inches that I cut this, the same solid color for that. We're going to put that on the side. And the big one right here that I have is 9 inch and a half by 13 inch and a quarter. So we're going to put that away for that. And then I it four inch and a quarter by nine and a half inch. Two fabric. I'm using the purple. It's like this. Isn't that so beautiful? And I got this long time ago. I don't think the I don't know this one in the dinosaur. I don't know which one is older. But um the side of this I cut one man side and one line and and the size of this is four inch and three quarter up an inch by nine and a half inch. And then I also have the interfacing right here that I cut that four inches wide and eight inch and a quarter. I'm going to iron this on the main side of the fabric. So iron it in there. And I also have the last, not, not really last, the last piece of fabric right here. This is for the pocket. And this is four inch and three quarter of an inch by eight inches. Okay. And I also have the zipper. I have like a whole bunch of a hundred zipper in here. If you're interested, check in my um, my description because it's super cheap. And with this, I want to match the fabric. So I need four inch and three quarter of an inch zipper. So I'm going to cut in the extra right there. I'm going to save it. So I mark in here. Four in and three quarter up an inch. So almost five inches. So I'm going to cut this through. You're going to iron in here. The main fabric. So everyone after I iron in here. You're going to turn into the other side. This one is the pocket side, okay? This is four inch and three quarter up an inch by eight inches, okay? We're gonna place it together this way. Okay, now you're going to mark on the top here, three quarter up an inch. Three quarter up an inch. On the side in and on the side here, also three quarter of an inch. So it's right here, and three quarter of an inch is right here. So I'm gonna draw the line. You mark half an inch. Make it the the square. Go. I'm in the rectangle right here. Go up and half an inch. And connect this. You're going to sew the line here, the rectangle, all the way here, all the way, all the way to here. So everyone, after I sew one in here, very simple. Yep. Okay, make sure you iron this and everything. Now you can see it's like this. And don't worry about this thing in the like that, okay? So now you're going to put the zipper the right side facing up. You're gonna put it here. Make sure line by line. So 
around this. You're going to top step this side right here, go up here, go all around here, and go to here. So everyone, I thought I top stepped in here. I'm gonna go into the back side. You're gonna move this up. This is for the pocket. I'm gonna turn into the right side to make it easier for you. You can cut the piece of paper three and a half inches up and four inches wide. The long side four inches. And the downside is three and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. You gently press in the middle. That the center. For this one right here, I'm going to fold the four inches in half. From the top here down a quarter up an inch, I'm going to place this right in the center. So, top, side, bottom, and side. So after I sew on the top here, let's go to the back. We're gonna go and trim this. Don't trim the main side, okay? We're going to trim this only because it's too bulky. So we're gonna trim, pull this, okay? Pull the main side of the fabric. Oh. put that on the side we're gonna work on the big piece of right here the big one here that nine and a half inch by 13 inch and a quarter the first one on the top here I'm going to mark three and a half inch that three and a half and the next one two inches And the next three inches. And the next one, two and a half.
on the right you're going to fold it down press first before you use the iron make sure you stay on the line that iron this after that you put it ruler here and then you pull it this up when you pull it up you're gonna make sure the line the side is staying the same this line right here you're gonna hold I'm sorry I'm gonna turn this way you're gonna hold it together and you go on this way Okay, so after that, you go going to iron this line right here. So I'm going to get the ruler right there. The ruler is best to do something like this. Okay, let me just clip it down so you know there's two parts right here that we need to top stitch. That one and then this one. I almost touched the camera. I mean the uh, the iron. Okay, so now we're going to top stitch two thing here. This one right here and this one right here. And the back look like this. Okay? So now after I top stitch this is going to look like this, okay? Don't worry about that. I know that bother you. Fold it in half. Mark the center. Going to mark the line down. So you can sew. So draw the line in the center. And then in between those two lines, a quarter of an inch you're going to mark. I can see and I know what I'm doing but you okay that line and then the quarter up and ends on each side you're gonna sew this line down sew this light down and sew this light down so after I sew on this together now you're going to bring back this one right here like this is the one that four inch and a quarter by nine and a half I'm gonna place together right side touching the right side a quarter up an inch you're gonna sew this line so after I sew a quarter of an inch Got my fabric is a little thick So top stitch this line After I top stitch in this one the last piece, not the last piece, but the, the other piece of this, when I cut in this, the same side of this one, the main. And this is four in and three quarter up and ends by nine and a half. Facing the right side up. And we're going to place this one right side up. Like this. Everything have to meet up on the bottom here on the side. Flip it together. You're gonna sew this two side right here. So after I sewed the two side, now we have the four by four of the fabric. 
I'm gonna fold it in half and then I fold it again The ISO on this one. Bring this back. This is the main fabric. We're going to fold it in half. Press the center. You don't need to iron or anything. Just press. We just want to mark the center. And then from this half, we're going to fold it so I can get the center right. The center of this half of this. I'm going to add this one right here in the center quarter of an inch you're gonna sew this in so after I sew on this I'm going to place the right side of this to the right side of this so place this down down here okay the one with two in here not the one with all that uh, credit card side we're going to sew all around all around all around the top
one I finished sewing the button on both sides okay this is just an extra screw for the money okay so now um let me see this one is the finish line on side is eight and a half and the length down is four inches so you can get your money i'm so poor i have like four dollars okay and then go into here and this side plenty of room you can put your credit card and it come all the way down like that you can add more if you like to okay you add more credit card like that and when you're done close it up on this side you close this and on this side right here open this you can put your coin your change or whatever sometimes i have change and i put all over my wallet like this okay and then you close it up Ta -da. very 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 easy to make Stay safe everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and subscribe to support my channel and also click on the bell notification every time I upload a video you get notified. This is so easy to make. Everyone watching this can do this too. Look at that. So easy.